All right, hi, Mark Warnke with PackOats.com. I'm going to show you how to do a low line, a low line, and a high line. And low line and high line are done exactly the same ways. Uh, high line, obviously, you're going to tie to a raised source. So I did tie one side to a tree. I'm going to do the other one to an orange stake. I'm going to show you a low line. I prefer low lines just because the goats have a tendency to get, uh, in my opinion, in a little less trouble. Um, they have a tendency to get that high line a little bit sometimes wrapped around their horns. But you can say the same thing that they have a tendency to get it wrapped around their feet. Doesn't matter whether you do a high line or a low line. It's really important for you to remember. You should never be doing that for their first time in the woods. Do it in your backyard, like I have set up here. Put your goats on it. Let themselves get. Let them get themselves in trouble. Let them think their way through. That's the benefit of a goat. He doesn't do what a horse does. He doesn't blow up and get all crazy and do stupid stuff and hurt himself. Most goats will think their way out of trouble. Just let them do that. They'll get experience at it. Monitor them while they're in the backyard. Leave them on it. Let them tug on it. Let them learn about it. And then you'll be fine when you get into the backcountry. So you're going to need two ends tied down to something. I've tied to a tree here. And then I'm going to use the orange screw. These are available on the website. Orange screws are super awesome. They work really good, especially on the low lines. So we're just going to screw this in real quick. Okay. And then I'm just going to tie a quick knot just to make it quick. Now, I don't you don't want your low line like super taut. You want it with a little bit of slack. You want it to kind of lay nice and easy. That way when they're on it, they can kind of move it around and it's not super tight. It gives this kind of some shock and, and, and you just don't want it tight. Now if you come in on the camera, this is the knot that you're gonna to use to tie in each of your stations. I believe it's called the Prissic Knot or the Prissic Knot or whatever it's called. It's something close to that. I can never quite remember. And all you have is one simple loop on one end and then a long loop on the other end. So once you have your, your cord affixed, what you're going to do is you're going to try tie a prissic knot, I believe is how it's pronounced. So it's really easy. You make one small loop on one end, okay, so there's my small loop, and then I'm going to make a big loop. About This is all you need, about maybe 18, 20 inches. You want the big loop to be big, because you'll see why here in a second. So we're going to just tie this just like your dad or whoever showed you back in the day. You're just going to keep this one down at the bottom and keep this loop long. I like it a little longer than this, but you'll get the idea. So we're gonna use the one I already have. So we have a long loop and we have a short loop. So here's my long loop and my short loop. And if you come in here real tight, you're gonna be able to see how I wrap this. What I do is I come in, go under the cord, go back through itself, and then through itself again and then I'm going to take this up through there. And now it's like a Chinese finger thing. So when it's tight, it won't go anywhere, but I can move it really easy. So that's really super handy. So again, I'm going to show you how to do that because it lets you position these cords properly. Is what I do, and it's prissic or Anyway, I'm going to quit trying to pronounce it because I feel silly. So anyway, here's the loop. We're going to take the long loop. We're going to go like this twice, once, twice. And then we're going to go up through it. And then cinch it tight. And then again, Chinese finger thing. So there we go. That's your, your knot that will help to then move when you want it to move. And when the goat pulls on it, it can't go anywhere. Really, really nice situation, makes it super simple. Do know this knot is very reliant on being different diameter cords. This mainline cord needs to be thicker than this. If you have the similar cords, you do one more loop and it'll work better. So you actually go around three times. But uh, if you have dissimilar cords, you have a big mainline and a smaller cord, that's the way to go. Now, it's also very important that you realize if you pull back now, this main line needs to be a big thick cord because if they get caught up in it, a little piece of 550 will actually burn and chafe and could cut things like pasturns or tear holes in their legs. This is the only piece of cord that's short and it's just a little piece. 
And what we're going to do is we're going to actually set these up so each goat can't reach, each, reach one another. So we're going to take the leads that you have on packgoats.com. Now, just know these new leads that are on packgoats.com, you're going to notice there are two lead types. This one, due to, due to customer smarter than me intelligence, said we need a swivel piece on this end and you were right. So now we have it. So we have one that has a swivel because what will happen is they'll have a tendency to spin and if this doesn't have a swivel on it, this cord just gets shorter and shorter and shorter and all bound up. So what we're going to do is we're going to put this end into my little loop. Then we're going to put the other one into the other loop. And then we're going to set these two. And I always like to just kind of lay it out so I know that each goat won't be able to reach each other. So now I know my distances. I'll set it that far apart. And now when I have two goats on this, they're not going to be able to reach each other. So that's it. It's the same when you hang it high. It's, it's the same principles. You want to hang it over the top of their head. So you want to hang it at about five to six feet high, about equal with your forehead. And you do exactly the same thing, but you hang them up there. And so each goat is hanging off of a, a line, and it works the same way. So there's your low line and your high line. One of the negatives you should know of a low line is that they will pee and poop on it. And that is the deal. So I hope that's helpful. Mark Warnke, PackGoats.com.